What is going on guys? Grave here. Today I'm going to talk about the player base in the Elder Scrolls Online and how the game seems to have a player retention problem. But in my opinion, it's kind of always had that issue. And lately I've been seeing a lot of people talking about whether it be in-game uh, or you know on the ESO forums talking about how the game is dying. And this has been a conversation in my, in my opinion that happens every single year. I always see this conversation uh, in-game and uh, like I said, in the forums for the community talking about how they feel like the game is kind of dying off. And like I said, it's just something that happens year in and year out. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description. Uh, Empire Jerky, of course, which is one of the affiliates here on the channel. And also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you are on PlayStation and you would like to have an invite to the PlayStation Guild here in the Elder Scrolls Online, leave me a comment with your gamer tag and I'll get that invite sent to you. When it comes to player retention, I, I feel like Zoss has tried to do the best they can with it. And this is no way whatsoever is talking about how bad of a job Zoss does. I think they do a great job. They could do some things better. And of course, this is not you know, talking about the player base either. I think ESO has a great player base for the most part. Like any game, you're going to have a few people there that might ruin it uh, you know, for a few players. But for the most part, 99% of the time, the, the ESO player base is an absolute blast to be around. And I, I feel like every year people talk about the game dying off. And of course, with Elden Ring coming out as of late, a lot of players have gone over to play Elden Ring. If you're a PC fan, you're probably over playing Lost Ark some. Same kind of thing happened when New World was released. But in my opinion, at least here on PlayStation, on the North American servers, I still see tons of players out and about, players everywhere. But the one issue that I think the game has always had is trying to keep vet players and new players happy. And I know that's going to be a pretty tough job for Zoss in general. It's hard to keep veteran players interested in content, but also bring out content that new players feel like they can get into. That they don't feel like they have to be high level CP or know something really you know, uh, difficult mechanics to be able to do right off the bat. So I think that's always been a kind of juggling act when it comes to Zoss's end of trying to keep veteran players and new players happy. One issue that I think the game has always had, and I've always felt bad for the PvP community, I feel like the PvP in-game community has definitely dropped off. There's been a lot of massive YouTubers and streamers that have pretty much quit playing and gone on to other things. Uh, and I think that PvP community is still kind of dropping off as we speak. Now, it's kind of hard to say what you consider to be in-game in the Elder Scrolls Online. Do you consider it to be PvE? Do you consider it to be PvP? Do you consider it to be housing, farming, whatever the case may be? In-game is kind of whatever you want it to be when you get to that point. But when it comes to the PvP, kind of that veteran player base, a lot of those players are dropping off. And it doesn't seem like on the PvP side anyway, a lot of the new players are kind of filling those gaps. A lot of the new players are playing PvE activities. Um, and to me, when it comes to the in-game and PvE, if you're considering like, you know, vet trials and doing things like that to be in-game, that community, at least on console, and I'm not sure about, you know, you know, PC, but on the console side, it seems like there's always been a smaller percentage of in-game PvE players, those, you know, trial runners and things like that. It seems like most players almost are kind of, I wouldn't say afraid, but are not really sure if they want to get into that. They think it may be too difficult. So it's not the player base when it comes to PvE on console, at least does a lot of things besides, you know, in-game trials or something like that. Um, I, I think another problem, a lot of new players see that high CP level now, and it's been like this over the years, no matter what the level has been, whether it was vet levels or when CP started up to, you know, where we're at now at 3,600, a lot of new players see that and think, I've got to grind it out so I can go play with my friends. And so they go in, instead of ranking up a character and playing the story and getting skill points and, you know, kind of doing it as everyone else did to begin with, leveling at the normal kind of pace, they go in and grind out those levels, trying to get in to be able to do things with their friends, and new players get burnt out very quickly. I couldn't tell you how many players I've seen on, uh, you know, console on the PlayStation side talking about, in you know, in, just in the in-game chat, how they're burnt out because they're grinding CP, and, you know, they've been playing for so many months or a year or whatever the case may be, and they're just tired of doing it. And I think that is a big issue. I, I don't know how you really could ever fix that problem, but I do think... Player burnout is definitely a thing for new players, considering they're all trying to grind out, you know, like I said, CP to get up to that higher level to be able to participate with some friends of, you know, those friends have played for a really long time. Um, it feels like some content is tailored, I think, more towards new players than veteran players. It's kind of how the veteran community feels now. Of course, I have played for a really long time. Um, you know, I started playing not long after the console release of the game. 
so I've been here for a lot uh, of you know community conversations, and a lot of the community has talked about that over the years that if they feel like that the player base is or, or the game really is tailoring towards that you know newer player base sometimes with the content instead of really improving PvP over the years, really improving you know the in-game PVE experience that Zoss adds a lot of things for new players. And like I said, kind of at the start, that's kind of the hard thing to do, in my opinion, as a developer. It's a double-edged sword. You're either going to make the veteran players really happy or the new players really happy, and one of them are going to be upset. You're not going to keep one of those player bases. So content-wise, it's it's kind of hard to do. I do wish, or I hope at least in the future, they really do try to improve You know, performance on the PvP side because I think that's one of the biggest issues that has been a glaring issue for a really long time. And hopefully they can find a way to get new PVE players involved in more of that in-game, you know, trial activities. That's what they would like to participate in. But once again, the issue here being is a lot of people get into the game, you know, get to level, you know, 50, start grinding out CP and discover they really like housing or they really like being in a guild trader and selling stuff. Or they like going out and just farming or questing or whatever the case may be. So they can put hundreds and hundreds of hours in these other things besides in-game trial activities. So... It's going to be really hard for Zoss to tailor to everyone. It's going to be hard for Zoss to make content for in-game and for, you know, veteran players and for PVE players and for, uh, you know, new players and make everyone happy at the same time. But hopefully they will be able to do that going forward. Another thing I think a lot of veteran players feel like that sometimes the nerfs and buffs in the games are really tailored towards new players. Once again, I would say probably the biggest one that I can think of in recent memory would be the animation canceling nerf, uh, a lot of people felt like that that was kind of a, a slap in the face to veteran players because if you were really good at animation canceling, you could get those DPS numbers way up. And that, that was kind of a skill gap. And a lot of people feel like that kind of hurt that skill gap. But at the same time, I understand where Zoss was coming from. A lot of new players may not have the time to practice and play every day, practice those rotations. And that's another reason I think a lot of new players don't maybe necessarily hop into in-game stuff as, much, as often as some players used to. Because they may have a lot of you know, things going on at work, family, whatever the case may be. So that's something, again, that Zoss kind of has to work on to kind of keep both player bases happy. Um, now, of course, I'm sure when the new update comes out, of course, we're about to get Ascending Tide here on console. When the big you know, new zone comes out, it seems like a lot of people always come back. And that's kind of the, the point every year uh, that I was getting to at the start of the video where it seems like this is always a topic of conversation year in and year out. It seems like players kind of slack off towards the beginning of the year and towards the end of the year when there's not a lot of new big content. But when the big DLC comes out in the summer, a lot of players come back. And Zoss, can, I think, can continue to make good content uh, for new players and veteran players alike. But it's going to be a, a challenge going forward, I think, with all the games that are out right now. Of course, I think some players eventually will quit playing Elden Ring and come back to ESO. Some players will quit playing... Uh, you know, Lost Ark and come back to ESO, kind of like they did with New World. When New World came out, a lot of players played New World, so them came back to ESO, and some did not. But Zoss does have a, a a kind of large task at hand to try to make sure that everyone is happy, and I know that's a really hard job, and hopefully they can continue to put out good content because they've already said in the past they're going to continue to put out content as long as the player base is playing the game. And for me personally, I've played for a really long time, if I start getting frustrated with the game or upset with the game or whatever the case may be, tired of the game, burnout, I just go play other things. If you've been around the channel here for a long time, you know I don't just upload the Elder Scrolls Online. I upload a lot of other videos. Whatever I'm playing at the time is what I upload because that's what I enjoy. So if you find yourself getting burnout, go find something else to play for a little while and come back. And it's, believe me, it's a, almost like a fresh start when you get back because, you know, you haven't been playing in a while and, it, you know, it feels good again and it's very enjoyable again. So that's kind of how... You know, I look at it when I when I kind of play the Elder Scrolls Online and I start feeling that kind of burnout phase coming. It's hard to please everybody, and I think Zoss has done the best they can. I think they can do some things better, and hopefully they will in the future. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.